Hi, welcome to this activity uh, that is a troubleshooting default gateway issues. Sure, we can see our addressing table and uh, this is uh, incomplete. Uh, we can see this default gateway is not fully uh, filled. Right, so coming to objectives, verify network documentation and isolate problems, then implement verify and document solutions. Sure, in this uh, troubleshooting, we will use the following steps. Uh, verify the network documentation and use a test to isolate problems. Then determine an appropriate solution for a given problem. Then implement the solution. Then test to verify the problem is resolved. Then document the solution. First of all, we will verify network documentation and isolate problems. In part 1 of this activity, complete the documentation and perform connectivity tests to discover issues. In addition, we will determine an appropriate solution for implementation in part 2. Right. Uh, verify the network documentation and isolate any problems. Before you can effectively test a network, you must have complete documentation. Notice in the addressing table that some information is missing. Complete the addressing table by filling in the missing default gateway information for the switches and the PCs. Right, so we will uh, fill this uh, default gateway of uh, those uh, devices. Okay, here we can see our addressing table we copied into our spreadsheet. Uh, first of all, uh, we will get the default gateway of S1. Uh, IP address submit to mask so here we have to get the default gateway of S1 coming to our topology here we can see the device S1 that is switch which is connected to this router R1 uh, to the interface uh, G0 R0 so obviously the default gateway uh, for all the devices in this network will be the IP address of this interface G0 R0 on this router R1 here we can see the IP address of uh, G0 R0 so we will copy this uh, uh, IP address. This is the default gateway for this device S1. Yes, and coming to our topology, uh, here we can see uh, two uh, devices uh, which is connected to uh, this uh, uh, network PC1 and PC2. Here is PC1. We have the same default gateway for PC1 and PC2. Now we will get the default gateway of the device S2. Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, our switch S2 which is connected to this uh, router R1 uh, to the interface G0 slash 1. So we have to get the IP address of this interface G0 slash 1. Here we can see that. This is the default gateway uh, uh, for this device S2. Also here we can see uh, two more uh, devices PC3 and PC4 uh, which is uh, connected uh, in the same network. Uh, so these uh, devices uh, also will be having the uh, same default gateway. Uh, so here we will copy it for this PC3 and PC4. So here we can see the details. Next is a test connectivity to devices on the same network. Okay, we will do that. By isolating and correcting any local access issues, you can better test a remote connectivity with the confidence that local connectivity is operational. A verification plan can be as simple as a list of connectivity tests. Use the following tests to verify local connectivity and isolate any access issues. The first issue is already documented, but you must implement and verify the solution during part 2. Here they are given the first problem. Uh, test given uh, is a PC1 to PC2. Uh, is it successful? No, it's not successful. Uh, issue we can see IP address on PC1. Okay, uh, solution uh, change PC1 IP address. Anyways, we will also ping from PC1 to PC2. So we will get the IP address of PC2 coming to PC1 desktop command prompt here we are going to ping to PC2 okay it's here okay here we didn't get the replay 
so here the issue is on this uh, PC here we can see PC1 IP address uh, it's 192.168.10.10 but here we can see uh, it's configured as 11.10 so here we will make the required uh, changes uh, now itself uh, so here the ip address on this pc should be 10.10 uh, .10. so we will change it to 10.10 .10. here we can now we will ping from pc1 to pc2 and here we can see we get the replies So here in this activity, I will highlight only uh, the problems. Uh, we will uh, uh, troubleshoot only the problems. Uh, so now uh, we will uh, ping from PC3 uh, to this uh, S2. So here we can see the IP address of S2. We will uh, ping from PC3. Ping to the switch. Here is the address. We didn't get the replies. We will check the IP address of a PC3 as well as PC4. Coming to PC3, IP configuration. And here we can see the IP address 192.168.11.10. PC3, it's correct. And here we can see the submit to mask and the default gateway, it's correct. Now we will verify the switch S2 coming to CLI and we will verify the IP address on the switch. Enable show IP interface brief coming to VLAN and here we can see no IP address is assigned to this VLAN. So we have to assign uh, the IP address uh, as per our addressing table uh, for this uh, switch S2 uh, for the interface uh, VLAN 1. We will do that now. Coming to S2, configure terminal. We have to go to the interface VLAN 1, and here we are going to set the IP address. Here we can see that. I will copy it. Then the submit to mask. It's already up. Okay. Copy running config startup config. It's running config startup config. Okay. Now we will try to ping from uh, PC4 to uh, this uh, switch S2. We are waiting for the reply. Yes. So here uh, we got the replies. Now we will ping to the remote devices. We will ping from PC1 to PC4. Uh, here we can see the IP address of PC4. We'll ping from PC1. Command prompt. Ping to PC4. We didn't get the replies. Coming to our PC4. Here we can see the IP configuration, uh, IP address it's correct, submit to mask it's correct and coming to the default gateway, uh, here we can see it's given 192.168.1.1, it should be 11.1, so uh, there is a mistake in this default gateway uh, on this PC4, so we will uh, correct it, it's 11.1. Now we will try to ping from PC1 to PC4. Here we can see we get the replies. Now we will try to ping from this PC4 uh, to this uh, remote switch S1. We will get the IP address of S1. Here is that. Coming to PC4. Command prompt. And we will uh, ping to this uh, switch.
here we didn't get the uh, replies we will verify our switch s1 enable here we will give show running config and here we can see ip address it's correct submit a mask it's correct but here we can see uh, they did not set the default gateway uh, for this uh, switch s1 so we have to configure the default gateway for this device that's why we unable to uh, communicate remotely but be able to communicate locally we will set the default gateway uh, for this uh, switch s1 configure terminal here we will give ip default gateway then uh, here is our default gateway 192.168.10.1 and we will verify it show running config and here we can see the default gateway now we will try to ping from pc4 uh, to this uh, remote switch yes one coming to command prompt here is our switch ip address we are waiting for the uh, replies yes so here we got the replies it's working here we can see all the problems we isolated uh, so here uh, the first test we done from uh, pc1 to pc2 uh, it's not successful then uh, the issue was ip address on pc1 uh, so there was uh, some mistake so we have to change the ip address of pc1 uh, so we done that then the second one is uh, we unable to ping from pc3 or pc4 uh, to uh, the switch that is s2 uh, issue was s2 ip address uh, not set so the solution is we have to uh, set uh, s2 ip address so we verified that next test we done is uh, uh, we ping from pc1 or from pc2 uh, to pc4 uh, it was uh, not succeeded uh, issue was a uh, PC4 a default gateway uh, configured incorrectly. So solution is uh, we have to configure uh, this PC4 a default gateway correctly. Uh, we verified it. And finally, we test from uh, PC3 or from PC4 uh, to uh, S1. Uh, it not succeeded. Uh, issue was uh, S1 default gateway is not configured. So solution obviously we have to configure default gateway on this uh, switch S1. Uh, we done that and verified. So we implemented a verified and uh, documented the uh, problems and its solutions. So here we can see the completion status. It's a 35 out of 35. So keep in mind you have to test all the uh, connectivity and uh, document it. Uh, here I have done only wherever uh, the uh, problem exists and we solved those problems. Right, so uh, friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions uh, regarding this video, please comment below. And we expect all the support from our viewers and consider subscribing. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.